I'm going to show you how to create a polar grid in Affinity Designer to draw mandalas. So the first thing is I create a new document. For this demo I will do it 4000 pixels by 4000 pixels. And I usually make them in 300 dpi because I print my mandalas for print on demand. And I usually use a transparent background so I'm going to add a square so you can see what I'm drawing. So the first thing we are going to do is the polar grid, which is a sort of target. So to do that, it's quite simple. You go to the shape tool and you select ellipse. And you're going to draw a series of ellipses. Uh, the first one I will make it at the size 3800 pixels by 3800 pixels. And then I'm going to duplicate this ellipse and make it smaller, 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 uh, 400 pixels by 400 pixels. Then I make sure that it's centered. You see that objects are centered when you see the green and red light in the middle. Okay, you can't see it because it's black and white, but you have guides in Affinity Designer to show you when it's well centered. Then I duplicate this ellipse and I make it smaller. I have to make sure to, um, yeah, to center it also. And then I'm going to duplicate it again and each time I remove 400 pixels and I do this until the target is complete I call it a target because it looks like a target The thing about doing the polar grid, once you made one, you just copy it and use it for all your other mandalas as a as a guide. Um, it helps you to to draw the patterns and to be precise in your drawings. Um, yeah, I don't know how to explain it better. It just helps you to to draw. Um, people who draw mandalas, classic mandalas on paper also draw those circles and the lines that I'm going to show you. Okay, we're done for the circles. After the circles, we are going to draw some lines. simple straight line I make sure that the rotation is on zero degrees and uh, the size I'm going to make it 3800 pixels also like the biggest circle that we have and then I make sure that it's well centered in the document then I'm going to duplicate it and rotate it at 22.5 degrees and then I'm going to duplicate these lines until the circle is complete there you go so this is a polar grid this is the what, what is going to help you to make your drawing then the next thing we're going to do is the symbols. So I'm going to use a triangle so you see what I'm doing and I'm going to zoom a bit. So I draw a little triangle. It's just for you to see you. You can draw whatever you want here. And we are going to change it as a symbol. So that's this icon on the right here. Then you click on it and in the burger menu you choose add symbol from selection 
So this triangle is going to be uh, everything that you are going to draw in it is going to be repeated in your in your design. So I copy this triangle, I mirror it, then I group them together, the two triangles, and I change the axis of rotation of those two grouped triangles to the center of the document. Then once it's centered, I'm going to duplicate them and rotate them at 45 degrees. And then I'm going to copy those symbols until the circle is complete again. So I do duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. It goes a bit faster on, on, the, on the desktop with the shortcuts because you have to do it by hand on, on the iPad. Okay, once this is completed, you go to the layers and then you open the symbol. So that's the one with a triangle. Well, first you group them so it's a bit tidy in your layers. I didn't do that from the start, so I'm doing it now. is good to stay organized okay so now we have our polar grid and we have our symbols so I'm going to open a symbol from the layers panel well, first I make the, the polar grid a bit less opaque so you're going to see what I'm drawing so what symbols do is they repeat everything that you uh, draw inside the symbol so what we're going to do we are going to open a symbol in the layer menu then choose the pen tool and then we can start to draw. Okay, I have to change the opacity here. Can you tell I'm new at using Affinity? So there you go, what symbols do is they repeat everything that you draw inside that layer. And because we repeated them at 45 degrees, everything that I draw is going to be repeated in this uh, little 45 degrees section. So from there you can start to draw your, your mandala, you can start to draw your lines, everything is repeated. And that's how you can draw your flower. You can use symbols for whatever you like. You can just use it as a mirror function or yeah, you can do your mandala with as many slices as you want in your circle. You can just really whatever you want. You place it, uh, you just need to calculate your divisions and you start drawing from there. So there you go, I hope you found this helpful and that I was clear enough, even though I'm quite new at using Affinity. Don't forget to subscribe!